Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome back, and today I present to you the next installment of my Glamour Showcase, showcasing my top 5 favorite and most used glamours, with today's focus being the one and only Warrior. All of my glamours are based around a theme with the intended goal to stand out from the crowd. Let me know which one is your favorite, enjoy today's video, and I shall see you all in the next one. Let's kick things off with my steampunk-styled set, featured around the Krondite top of fending. I chose this top for the metalwork on the one arm. For the hands, I found the blades gauntlets of fending were a perfect fit, with the legs and boots coming from the new Final Fantasy XVI event to tie it all together. For the weapon, I wanted something flashy but not oversized. Hence, I landed on the Emerald Weapons Battle Axe. For the die, I went with a fairly light green, as you do not see many glamours these days sporting a good green. Next is my battle-driven set. To this day, I still love the Bastion coat of fending, and the quality still holds up. I went with the Baron Isle wrist wraps for their unique design, some heavy-duty chainmail direwolf leggings, which blend together nicely with the Aurum legs. I kept the worn and torn theme with the use of soot black dye, and for the weapon I wanted something big and bulky. I found this with the Dwarven Mithril Hammer. Next up is my personal favorite and most used warrior glamour. This is my barbarian set. Mixing both the pummeler top and boots, I found the virtue ravager gauntlets fit perfectly, and the heaven stern legs were a nice addition from the event, with the majestic mandeville barnachi being the ideal barbarian weapon. Big and bold, it helps this set to stand out. Next is my warrior during the Shadowbringers era. This is my gladiator build, focused around the Pagliafen jacket of fending. Once again, the blade's gauntlets are a perfect fit. The Hackhammer 55 add a bit more shape to the legs, and the classical boots fit both the gladiator style while not covering up the Hackhammer's shape. The whole set is rounded off with the Minos Heaven's Ward relic. The Lux version works just as well. I personally prefer the blue flame over the red. For my fifth glamour, we have the Royal Set, using the entire attire from the new Final Fantasy XVI crossover event. I really enjoyed this set as you appear nimble and agile, 
while still having the arm and leg protection one might need when swinging around a great axe wildly. I call it the Royal Set, as the Edamorn Battle Axe gives it that knightly feel. I went with the all pure white dye, but honestly, this looks great in any color. I could not end it without one honorable mention, the Elemental Warrior, a truly standout armor set, with one of the most unique axes going. However, if you want to get your hands on such a set, be ready to dive into the grind of Eureka. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you all in the next one.